fishing this here little pier. This is my first drop. Let's see what we got. Got something. All right. Nice puffer fish. They're just all over. We're lucky we'll get some big ones today. That'll be nice. So I am just getting started today, and I've been on its pier fishing kick this week. So I'm gonna go off with it and just follow the vibe. And I'm trying out this here pier. I haven't fished this pier with bait in decades. So we'll see what happens. Right now, I'm, like I do, got small hooks working close to the pier. So anything can happen. I really should run to the car and get my other rod just in case. So try this side. On this side we have sea bass. So we got puffer fish and sea bass. This is just life all over the place. There's really no telling what we'll pull up. Let's feel something, something a little better. Ooh, they always look bigger in the water. There are plenty of sea bass to go around here. Just fishing this here little fishing pier. And I'm starting close fishing around the pier. I might start laying casts a little outside the rift. We'll see. That looks good on the right. I count down that shallow water. So there's like a bowl in here. Maybe that edge of that bowl. There we go. What's that? Is that a big puffer? A little, little puffer with seaweed. Fish. Cool. Maybe they're around. I'd like to keep a dozen of these, but I won't keep any unless I know there's going to be a bunch around. We took the bottom. I'd love to get a boatload of kingfish. That would be nice. There was a big one out the other day. It's pretty wild. And I'm just Fishing flush to the pier. Hopefully, I didn't hit that pillar down there. All right. It's a kingfish. We're going to be in. Something bigger. Oh, wow. Oh, it's a big puffer. Wow, that's a nice puffer fish. Those are the ones you want to eat. That's a nice one. That's a keeper. I'm gonna let them go, but if we start hitting them like that, I'm gonna keep about a dozen. Maybe I should just start keeping them now. Almost there. Ooh, something just popped. There we go. That's a nice size. That's a nice eating size. We'll see what we get. Sea bass seem to be more so out of the current. Blowfish are everywhere. Kingfish are roaming. We'll see what else we get here on this little pier. Oh, more sea bass. Alright, we got a kingfish again. Yeah, we should keep them. I'm gonna wait to see if there's any more. If they come in a big school, we can get about a half dozen of them quick, so I'm gonna let him go. Real meaty fish.
plan. This is a good one. Oh, pick, pick a few bass. Tad bigger, not a big one, but what we've been a getting. That's what it is. Seaweed with some sea bass. All right, we had a lot of small copper fish, sea bass, kingfish, and uh, I'm gonna try another pier. I'm gonna get out of here. So I wanted to fish this tiny little pier just to see if it was how it was doing compared to other piers, and they all seem to be about the same. I think if we fish through this tide, sea bass. That's the biggest sea bass of the day. But um, I'm getting out of here. I think wherever you fish now in Long Island, you're going to have some fast bottom fishing action. There's some beauties of a fluke around too, but you're going to have to get through these things, little things. You might want to consider throwing jigs or something like that. But uh, I'm going to roll out, check out another pier, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.